Future belongs to people who those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Do you have a dream? Think about the dream, nourish the dream, and one day it will be fulfilled. But we have to re remember, we have to believe in the beauty of those dreams. After the S7 examination, everybody is back to the class, right? Soon the school will be reopened. Hope to see you face to face in the classroom. Yes, so before the examination, we have completed one to four lessons, right? Fifth lesson grammar was pending, and we are completing today, taking today the grammar portion of lesson number five. We have to deal with the past tense. Okay. Past tense means what is already completed in the completed days close the door how can you uh, change it to do past tense the door is closed closed close the door closed the door isn't it open the door opened the door past tense opened i will tell you a story one day, a son who is staying in the hostel or somewhere away from the home sent a letter to father. Those days, olden days, or even a message, you know, in the phone, WhatsApp message. Send rupees 2000. S E N T, send 2000 rupees. Father was waiting and he checked his account details. No money received. Again, after 2-3 days, the son sent the same message. Send 2,000 rupees. Father again checked. No money is received. Bank details, the account details shows no money received. He made a call to the son. Son, you told me you sent 2,000 rupees. Where did you get the money? Why did you send me money? The son said, Father, please send me S E N D. Father, please send me two thousand rupees. There is a picnic from the school. I have to join it. So please send me. See the difference. S E N D sent is present tense. S E N T sent is past tense. S E N T sent means already completed. So the father thought the son already sent two thousand rupees. To the father. See the difference. You, we must know the difference between verb forms in past tense and present tense. Otherwise, past tense. There are certain verbs called regular verb forms. It is very easy to change the present tense to past tense. How to change, you know, add ed to the present form to make a past form. For example, work. What? W-O-R-K-E-D. Worked. Jump. Jumped. Cook. Cooked. Wash. Washed. Walk. Walked. Very simple. And there are some other verbs right, like write. W-R-I-T-E. Writing. Write. How to change it into past tense, you know? The vowel should be changed. W R I changes to O. Right? Wrote. I wrote an exam yesterday. Blow. B L O W. We have to change the O to E to make it past tense. Blow, present tense. What is past tense? Blue. Blow, blue. Meet. M-E-E-T. Meet. Say face to face. Say each other. Meet. To change it into past tense. Met. E-E -E becomes single E. Met. Again, there are some other verbs like a word that ends in Y. Fry. Fry. I like 
fry the chicken fry. F R Y fry. How to change it into past tense? Cut a Y. Write I E D fry fried. Cry. Cried. Try. Tried. T R I E D. Supply. Supplied. Now let us look in the textbook. Open your textbook. Page number 42. Exercise G. Change the present verb forms to past forms. Today words to yesterday words. Today words means present. What is happening now? I speak now. I spoke yesterday. I teach you now. I taught yesterday. Teach past tense is taught. T-A-U-G-H-T. Taught. I think. Think is present tense. Today words. Yesterday. I thought. T-H-O-U-G-H-T. Thought. So change today words to change. Uh, today words to yesterday words. That is the page number 42. Exercise G. So uh, here words end in Y. So how to change it to the past tense? Cut a Y. Write I-E-T. Yes. Also, there is a homework for you. Page number 66, exercise A and B. Exercise A and B. A is match the following. Match the present words to past words. And B is choose the correct answers. Choose the meaningful past form of the verb from the bracket. So, happy to see you again. Come to the online class after completing these homeworks. Page number 42. Page number 66. Complete these homeworks and meet online. Bye-bye.